Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If it's your first time here then warm warm welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, thank you for coming back and spending some time with your girl to see what I've got in store for you today. Now guys, today, today, today is a bit of a, I've got so much to tell you that I don't even know where to start because first of all, today is a collective haul. And when I say a collective haul, it's like a little bit of everything that I've collected over the last few, say, weeks and months, but nothing that could make an independent haul on its own. But it's kind of like just little bits and pieces for the home that I've collected while I've been out sort of trying to, you know, get things for work and stuff like that. So, guys, I am so pleased to tell you about what I've got here for the home. But before I go into all that, guys, we have finally, finally reached our second birthday. Yeah! Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to us. Us. And because of that, guys, I want to celebrate my birthday with you guys that we've been here for two years on the tube, on the gram. Two years. Yeah, two years. So part of that is that I want to do a birthday giveaway. But more of that later to come, guys. First of all, I really want to get on with this haul because there is so much to show you. And what I'm going to do, I think, to be honest, it might be easier if I actually grouped it by shops and then that way. I don't get confused. You don't get confused. And he said, Lois, where did you get that from? So let's get started. So let's get started. First of all, guys, I don't know if you guys have been to B&M lately, but I don't know. I just can't stay away from the darn shop. Yeah. But they are having a sale in there. A lot of things have gone literally on half price, guys. Half price. So the first things I'm going to show you, a few bits from B&M. Um, but it's not too much, but it's just the things that I just thought were, were I couldn't resist. And also, because they're reduced, guys. So I'm telling you, if you've got time, pop into B&M and, and they've got... I can't even talk, guys. I'm, I'm stuttering. I don't normally stutter. Hello. I'm stuttering. I'll tell you why. I think, I think they've got too much stock or they're trying to make way for autumn and Christmas. You heard it here first, guys. Thank me if you must. You heard it here first. But well, I think it's that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I've got. So I picked up this lovely um, sign. No, it's not a sign. <laughs> I think of it as a sign. I think of it as an M. But it's not an M. They're actually, it's actually a candle holder. But this is actually a dupe. I've seen something like this in H&M Home. Very, very similar, guys. But you get this for a fraction of the price if you get it from B&M. Now, this one came in at, I think I've taken the price off. Oh, yeah. No, nope, price on the bottom. This came in at £5 for this one. But this is really, really nice. And if you look at the top, it's got two holes or two slots, should I say, if you want to have like tall um, candles in there, like dinner candles. But I really, really like it. I've got something that this would go with very similar um that i bought from premark some some time ago um i can't think what it what haul it was in but if i can remember i'll link it down below so you can get to look at it but yeah i really love this and that's from bnm also what i picked up in there and this guys was actually half price the price of it was four pounds and it's actually a candle but this is actually for work. This is not one of mine. This is for work. And um, when I saw the colour scheme, because that's the colour scheme that I tend to work with, a lot of mustard. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, that'd be great. And this was £4. And this is half price for £2. And it's actually a warm amber and sandalwood scented candle. So it's a candle on the inside as well, guys. And that was for £2. Let me have a sniff. Because you know I'm going to have a sniff, guys. It's nice. It, because I like sandalwood. I like the sandalwood smell. But to me, I didn't buy this to burn. I bought this purely for decorative purposes. I mean, once I take the label off, I'll take it off now. Once I take the label off, it will sit alongside um, on a nice dresser when I'm trying to dress a room or something like that. And that's that's what I bought. But it's lovely. Look at the ribbed effect. If you can see the ribbed 
style there. If I hold, am I holding it properly for you guys? Can you see it? That lovely ribbed effect there. Really, really cute. Really nice. And two pounds, such a bargain. And the thing is, guys, even if you burn the candle and it's finished, you've still got a nice decorative piece. Yeah. So I'm um, more chuffed with that one. Also, what I saw in there, again, like I said, things are being reduced. And there's this set of four barley pulse lights. Now, I hope it doesn't reflect on it too much with the light. But these are really nice. If I bring it closer, it's actually like four pillars that you put in the ground. Um, and it's actually, they're, cut, they're called cut-out pulse lights. Cut-out pulse lights. That's what they're called. And um, it's got the nice barley style to it. Really, really nice. And guys, what I'll do, I'll show you it out of the box so you can um, see it properly. Now, I took it out earlier to have a look. So I thought I'd, I'll have a look before I show you guys. And that's what it looks like. And in the bottom, the post is actually stuck inside. You push it in, take the post out, and you can stick it like that so you can push it into the ground. The top comes off and the top is solar as well. Can you see? The top is solar. So that's what it looks like sort of in its entirety. If I hold it like that, you can see it. Put that in the ground, and I love the cutout detail. Isn't that beautiful? And it's actually in a cool white. So, I'm, I'm, you know what, guys? I should have picked up two of these. I don't know. I really like that. But anyway, that was for £10 originally, and it's now gone down to £7 for a set of four, four barley pulse lights. So, yeah, really, really great. Also, what I saw in there as well, Oh, I haven't showed you this. This is what I saw in there. This lamp. Now, let me put stuff down, guys, because I don't want to get things a bit all higgledy-piggledy. This beautiful black lamp. Now, this lamp, um, it's for a place that I'm doing up. And I, when I saw it, I thought this will go perfectly for the kind of ideas that I've got. But I thought I'd show it to you guys anyway, because this is really, really nice. Now, this lamp is at half price. I think it was originally... 15 or 18 and I got it for 10 pounds and that's really really nice now can you imagine if you put a really low watt bulb in here and um it, you see all the light just coming through it's like a rattan star but it's in black see it closely you see like a rope like a rope rattan style how gorgeous is that guys 10 pounds at B&M I reckon they're making way for Christmas. I really, that's what I, if, it's either Christmas or Easter. No, what was about Easter? Christmas, I'll, I'm getting my seasons mixed up. Christmas or autumn. That's what I think they're getting ready for. But yeah, but guys, also, I couldn't resist this. I love this. I love this for myself because I've got gold all over, dotted all over my house. That's kind of the theme, running theme in my house. I've always loved the colour gold in anything. Um, it just works for me. For everything I put it with, it works. But this is actually a shelf. If I can show you the shelf closer, and it's a three-tier gold shelf, and it's got the wooden slats. Now, I might spray paint the wooden slats, or I might not, because the wood works really, really well. But it's actually got a gold frame, and they've got it in the white as well. I didn't see any other colour other than the white and the gold. And this is down from £9 to £6. For a for this shelf, and I really really like it. It's a three tier shelf. Let me show you the picture up close again. Three tier shelf in gold. So guys, so, so much bargains to be had. If you can get in there and um, have a look at what they got, they got some really really good deals. Right, moving across very quickly. Stopped off in. Um, Primark, <laughs> confused that which shops I'm at. I'm at Primark now, guys. We're, we're moving on. We're driving the car down the road, and we're going to Primark now. So in Primark again, guys, you can get some great deals at the minute. Primark are, sh are sort of not half in their, their their prices, but they're kind of reducing their, their 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 stock, I suppose. And things are going on half price, or you're getting at least a quarter off. Now this is a large bergamot candle. Look how large this is. Now, guys, I bought this in the, in the tiny one before because I said to you at the time, I couldn't get hold of the large one. And when I, this is the largest one. They've got three sizes. This one, a round plate one, and a small one. I can only get the small one. Um, but when I saw this, and let me see if I can remember what price it was. This was originally, I think it was 12, gone down to 10. And I think I got this for four pounds. Look at the size of, 
size of my head. Hello. Got this for four pounds bergamot. But even when you burn this down, guys, the actual um, container, it's like a kind of a clay. Really, really nice. And it's such a lovely piece as well. You can team it up with any white ornament you've got. This is a beauty. Coming in at four pounds at Primark. Right, guys, let's keep it rolling. Now, what next? Uh, right, next I've got some Amazon bits um, that I've been... Yeah, I've had to stay away from Amazon for a little while, guys, because, you know... But hello, but anyway. So, guys, let me show you... If I show you the box first, it might make more sense, and then you can get a real idea. So, I have been doing a lot of cooking lately. Ever since um, I've kind of slowed things down, I've been really been in the kitchen quite a bit, and I really enjoy it as a, a pastime, making nice meals for me and the girls. And um, the other day, I was making a... What's I making? I was making, yeah, I was making, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, gosh. Mac and cheese. Guys, I'm making mac and cheese, yeah. And the girl said to me, Mum, we want kind of like four cheeses in it. So I thought, okay, no problem. Your wish is mine. Not so much command, but anyway, no problem. Four cheeses. I bought my cheese. I bought my Gouda. I bought the Edam. I bought the Cheddar. And I bought something else. I can't remember what it is. But anyway, I started to grate all this my fingers got rubbed to a knob. I said to myself, ah, oh, hell no, I'm not doing this again. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't know. Back in the day when I was making mac and cheese, I was fine with it. But now I'm like, my poor fingers can't. Nope. And at the time when I was doing it, I had nails. I had my nails longer, guys. I've chopped them right off now. But I had my nails longer. And I was literally, I couldn't cope. So I got myself one of these. It's a rotary grater. And basically, you put your cheese in there and it graters all your cheese, that like the blocks of cheese. You grate your cheese. You can um, you can also do um, vegetables in it. You can um, make crisps, like if you want to do your crisps and you dry them. You can do any sort of vegetable. And you know, you know your girl likes things that look appetizing. So when I saw this, I was well chuffed. So that's the box. So I'll just sort of show you the box so you get an idea. And the machine actually looks like this. So it's come, you know, as well, in about three different parts. And you literally click this on, click that on, and that's on, that's it. And there you go. And you put your cheese in the top. So you've got your push down bit. Let me put it back a bit. So you can push it down like that. So you put your cheese in there or your whatever vegetable you want to put in there to, to, to grate or, or whatever. And then you put it, go, and that's that. There you go, guys. All of that, it comes down for end. Sorted. I was well chuffed. I was so chuffed. I thought, no more nubs for fingers. Guys, Amazon. I think this is around about 20, about 20 pound mark. But guys, I'm gonna, the Amazon ones, I can list them down below. So if you wanna go straight onto it and have a look, you can click on the link and you'll go straight into my store and it's there if you want to purchase it. And I'll tell it to you. Guys, I ain't making no massive of money off of it. I'm not gonna fly to Bahamas on, on any, anything you click on. So don't, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. It's literally pennies, you know, but it all helps with the channel anyway. But it's up to you. I'm not telling you to do it, but it's up to you. But anyway, so this is actually on my Amazon um, link. So if you want to go to the affiliate link and click on it, you can find it. If you just want to have a look at it, it's entirely up to you. But I thought I'd show you anyway. So guys, also the pieces that you can change, you've got three interval, int, interval changes. Is it interval? Three int, interchange... Three interchangeable parts. Oh, God, I'm what? Guys, forgive me. Your girl is a little bit rusty. But anyway, so there's one that you can put in there. And that's when you get like, that's the one that you'd use for the cheese, guys, the cheese size. And then you've got this one as well. And that's if you want to do things like, you know, like people do like cauliflower rice and stuff like that. Or you do carrots or you want to make like um, coleslaw. That's the smaller piece. And then here you've got the bigger piece in there. I'm not going to take it all out now, but you've got the bigger sliding piece in there as well. So, yeah, guys, that was from... Sorry about the noise. That was from um, Amazon. So, guys, another thing that I picked up from Amazon was these pack of little bottles. I don't know if you can see it very well because it's all in the big bag, but I'll take out one and I'll show you, but I'll take it out already. But basically, I'm going to put the bag down. Sorry about the noise. But basically, I bought, like, a 24-pack of little bottles like this. And I'll tell you the reason why I got this. I'm starting to make um, shots 
Now, um, you guys know I'm trying to look after myself and my health and everything else. So I've kind of done a lot of research. What can I do to, you know, to, in, to not necessarily just take vitamins, but to eat my vitamins, eat healthy foods, eat things that would give me that extra, you know, help and assistance and minerals and stuff like that. So anyway, I decided to um, look at some shots because I've gone to like places like Mark's or them juice bars and you bought shots. And my gosh, £3.50 for a little shot. Guys, I decided to buy these little bottles and make my own. So what I make is things like um, beetroot shots. So that's like beetroot, carrot and ginger. And you just um, either put it through your blender or you put it through your juicer. And you just put a concentrate in these little bottles. You could put them in the fridge. They're BPA free. So that way um, you've got your shots and you can be you can refrigerate them for up to I think it's like four to five days. So, and you can also wash them out, reuse them. Um, you don't put them in dishwasher, though, guys. They're not dishwasher friendly. Um, just rinse them out with, you know, warm water. And then, you know, wash it and rinse it out, and then you're fine. But I make these shots. Or sometimes I make, like, lemon and ginger shot. <gasps> so, ginger, guys. But it's good for you. It's good for all sorts of things. I mean, I'm not, I'm not giving you medical advice, guys. I'm just telling you what I do for myself because it's also really, really good for some of the things that I'm trying to get more energy. Um, you know, as you're getting older, things, things start to happen, guys. I'm not saying I'm going to keel over, but I'm just saying I want to look after myself. And these are the little things that I'm doing. So making my little shots, you know, and last for three to four days. But with beetroot, you don't have those every day. You shouldn't really have beetroot, fresh beetroot every day. But I have beetroot shots maybe four to five times a week. Um, and then I interchange it with other shots like lemon and ginger or orange and carrot. Whatever you want to make up, guys, these are great. And they're from Amazon. I'm going on a bit, inner because I'm passionate. I'm passionate. So, guys, it's all very well having these little bottles. But how do I get the blinking juice into it? Well, I had to do some more research. And I have got some, um, like, strainers or sieves strainer things but i thought to myself i want something where different colors for different juices i don't want to put the same thing even though you do wash them out but anyway i'm just funny like that i like to have different things for different things so i saw these guys now these are from amazon and they're like a four pack of like um funnels look at that so they're flat like that guys and you push them up I'm making the right mess of this tonight, guys. You push it up, and there you go. Salted. You've got all different colours. If I put them all out, you've got all different colours, all different sizes. The pink one is so cute. And you've got this one as well. So they're all different sizes and different colours. And that's what I'm using to actually get the juice into my bottles. Like that. So everything into there. Salted. Jobs are good. So, yeah, you can get, like, the single ones, but I got a four-pack because I just like different colours anyway, guys. So, yeah. So, I got those from Amazon. Now, what else did I get from Amazon? Was that the only thing from Amazon? I think that was the only couple of items from Amazon, I think. But if I come across more things around me, I'll show you what they are. Right, moving across now. Oh, no. I know what I, know what I got from Amazon. <gasps> guys, look at this. I was well chuffed. You know there's some things you don't know you need to, to actually get it and then you know you need it? Look at this. This is a oil strainer. It's got all my fingers. I need to clean it up, guys. It's got all my fingers around it. Yeah, this is an oil strainer. And basically, what it is, you know, like, I mean, I don't know, but I, I had a deep fat fry once and I threw it out. I thought, I'm not going to deep fat fry anymore. I'm going to just do my whatever, whatever. But some of the, some of the, um, sort of like things I've been experimenting. I don't know if you guys have seen my Insta account where I put up, I made um, butterfly, you know, chicken like KFC style. And um, yeah, but you have to use quite a bit of oil. So I use quite a bit of oil in the pan, but the oil still can be used for something else afterwards if you want to, because it's fairly clean still, but it's a lot of oil you use. There's nowhere to store it. And also you should strain your oil. Well, I didn't know these things existed, guys. This is an oil strainer. And there you've got, like, if you look at the top, you can see very tiny holes in there. So you put that in there. God, I'm so sorry to wait. I need to clean this, guys. I, I'm ashamed to bring this and show you. I 
haven't even used it yet. But anyway, that's <laughs> that's the, the pan. That's your strainer. You put your strainer on top. You pour your oil into it, yeah, and it strains the oil. So all the, you know, like you've done fried chicken or you've done some fried fish, all that will be captured in there. Or you've done maybe fried chips. All that will be captured in there. Your oil that's come through here is strained and clean, right? And then you've got the tray that you would rest this on, say, for example, or the way I'm showing you, I'm just going to put it low like that. And then you've got your lid that goes on top. How cute is this? I love it. I love it. Guys, I love gadgets. I love kitchen gadgets. My daughter says, Mum, if you bring one more gadget in there, I thought, who are you, are you, too, are you, are you frightening? Hello? Although I do have to kind of cut back on the kitchen gadgets, guys, but it's a cutie. And that's from Amazon. I love it. My oil strainer. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. What a great idea. Because you don't know you need these things until you need it. I know, I know, I know. But guys, let's move on really quickly because time is a going with us. Right. So, popped into Asda and I saw this. This beautiful lemon sorbet candle. This is so nice. If you like lemon... Mmm, you'll love this. This is so fresh and nice. It's a two-week candle, and um, this is coming at four pounds. Guys, if you want to see more um, choices or scents that they've got of these candles, check out my TikTok. I think it's TikTok. Yeah, check out my TikTok account or my Instagram. Then you'll see more of these on there because I've shown you all different um, scents. They've got so many. They've got coconut. They've got... Guys, check it out. And yeah, I'll link them all down below. All my handles are linked down below in case you want to know anything that's going on. Or meet me over there. See what I do over there. But this is £4, guys. That is a really good price for that size of candle at Asda. I do actually like Asda candles. They, they do really well for their candles. While I was in Asda, I picked myself up a very small stock pot. And uh, yeah, I've actually got the larger size of this and I really, really like it. Um, and what I like about this so much is that in the last few years, I've recently got myself an induction cooker. And what I found is that I used to have, because um, I had a gas cooker before, I used to have really heavy iron pots. But on inductions, you can't use the thick bottom pots. So you have to get thinner bottom pots that are more induction friendly. So I've had to be changing over in the last few years. And um, this stock pot is really, really great. These are great for doing um, small amounts of vegetables, or if you want to do like a small amount of rice, or whatever you want to do with it, guys, make soups. But these are great for induction. They're also great for gas hobs as well. But at the same time, um, yeah, this only came in, at, I think it was seven pounds, I think it was. And this is a 22 centimetre stock pot from George Homer Asda. So yeah, really chuffed about that. Um, I'm not normally one to buy pots um, in Asda because I've not really um, bought a lot of their pots. But this is my second pot and I'm really, really pleased with the first one, which is why I bought this one. Anyway, Asda is also a place where you have some finds that you don't even know you got. I saw this in Asda and I'm so chuffed with this. It's called, is it a colander? Yeah, it's a stainless steel colander and... Um, this, what I wanted this for particularly, is when I'm doing my deep fried Kentucky chicken. <gasps> I know it's naughty. I know I shouldn't. But guys, I'm trying to be good. I'm not buying it from the shop anymore. I'm doing it myself. So I wanted this to actually, once you sort of um, deep fried your chicken and you've taken it out of the oil and, you know, you, you need to put it in this, put kitchen paper on the inside, put your chicken down in there, all your, whatever you've deep fried, fish, chips, whatever it may be, and you rest it off in there and the grease just comes away. Yes, that's a um, stainless steel colander. I'm loving this. This is four pounds, I think I paid for it, but I love it. I'm telling you, I have such a field day sometimes, but guys, I'm just sh showing you some of the stuff that I, I picked up. Right, what else have I got very quickly? Right, I was in, where was I next now? What shop am I going to? I'm now going to Aldi. <laughs> guys, picked up these two. This is your Paradise Bergamot Amber and Vanilla Hand Wash and Soap. That is really, really gorgeous. It's from the Hotel Collection. $1.99 each, guys. I am loving it. I had a good sniff in the shop. I was there sniffing for ages. Yeah, I was having a good old. 
yeah, in the shop. Yeah, really, really had a good time. Guys, I forgot to show you candle of the day. Let me not be so rude and let me show it to you. Right, <laughs> guys, this is the candle of the day. And this one is called a Bergamont Floral. And this is from Primark. Really, really nice. Lovely, beautiful spring, summer scent. Um, I know it's just smoking a little bit. I think it's because the, the wick might be a li little bit too long. I've had it lit for ages though, guys. So yeah, it's really nice though. Really, really nice. And that is my candle of the day. Yeah. Just thought I'd show it to you. And also guys, if you want to enter our competition for our birthday to actually win a prize, then um, yeah, stay tuned. But also there's something I want you to do at the end or whenever you sort of write a comment down below if you want to enter the competition. You need to put a, what colour should it be? Yeah, put a yellow heart, or actually put any colour heart you want to, but make it a big heart that you put down the bottom. That way I know that you're eager to be in the competition. So there's still going to be some more things when I finish, and I'll tell you the rest um, a little later. But let me move on very quickly, guys. So moving on with the Aldi purchases, I saw this in there. Guys, isn't Lacora stuff good? I didn't realise how good they were. And I saw this. It's your honey and vanilla um, golden bath nectar. Really, really love this. And I'll show you what it is. I've always seen this. I mean, I've seen this all over Instagram, the gram. And I thought, oh, I've got to go and have a look for this. So basically, it's a, it's a nectar that you put in your bath. Yeah. So you dip, you, you dip it in there in your thing, the nectar, oh my God, you dip it in the nectar, right? And then you actually run that bit under the water and it makes all bubbles in the bath and it's meant to be very soothing on the skin. And um, yeah, I am really keen to try this. I haven't tried it before, so guys, but it smells lovely. I'm gonna have another sniff. I had a sniff in the shop. I was, I was, I was sniffing away in the shop. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, it's got the, the actual um, foil on top, but you can still still smell it. That is really nice. I love this. I really loved it. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I really can't wait to try this. So I picked that up from um, Aldi. I think that was about $4.99 for that one, guys. But um, yeah, I mean, I've used some of the Lacura stuff before and I've been pretty pleased with it. So I am hoping and praying that this is good. And if it is, I'm going to quickly run back and try and get another one because you don't know how long sometimes these things will be in store, guys. So also while I was in Aldi, I picked up these. Now these are your long line aqua pure cleaners. So like bottle brush cleaners, or if you want to clean around the rim of things, this is a three pack in there that I saw. And um, I, I love these things. I've got I've got so many of these, but I, if I see them, I still want to buy them because you don't know what size bottles you want to clean out or what you may want to sort of, yeah. But these are really, really bristly. They're really, really rough. I'm sorry, guys. See all the fluffs coming out of it. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, they're really bristly. They're quite rough. So I'm thinking they should be quite good to um, to clean your bottles and such alike. So that's a three-pack bottle brush. And my last shop I shall hop across to is Ikea. Guys, especially without all your outdoor dining, if you're entertaining at all, um, I've always wanted a large tray. And when I saw this tray a little while ago, totally out of stock. Now they've got it back in stock. I was so chuffed that I got it. And um, this is very large white tray. Look how gorgeous that is. It's a beautiful, and it's large, guys. This is the sort of thing, you know, you're carrying your your um, your um meals to somebody or you're serving, or if you're having like a barbie outside and you've taken things off the grill and you want a large platter. Oh, my days. It's metal, guys, but it is lovely. It's got a lovely white finish to it, and this is extra large, extra large serving tray. I really like it. It's such a beautiful pattern as well. Use it for Christmas any time of the year. But in my mind, I really want this for barbecue season. So, yeah, that's my lovely tray from Ikea. So, guys, that is my collective, huge collective homeware haul. I hope you like the things that you saw in here. And I mustn't forget to tell you about the birthday. So, guys, basically, the birthday prize is going to be 
um, because we're two years old, we're going to give away two prizes. And basically, it's two £25 vouchers for Premark. So all you've got to do is do the thing I told you before. So what I told you before to do, do that and put happy birthday. So you put the thing I told you to put before and then you put happy birthday and then I know that you're entering the competition. So you've got to do that on my YouTube account and you've also got to hop across and do the same thing in my Instagram account. But you've got to follow me on Instagram. You can't just come across and just write stuff. You've got to follow me, guys. Hello? Oh, there's so much freebie around here. You have to work for your freebie. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. But yeah, if you want to enter the competition, the thing I told you earlier in the video, do that, yeah? And then you put happy birthday as well down below, also on Instagram as well, and follow me, and then you will be entered in the competition. And the closing date for that will be... Uh, what's today's date? Oh, my days. I don't know the date. Okay, one minute, guys. I'm going to have a look. I'm, this is really bad. Okay, so closing date will be the 5th, the 5th of June, and I'll be announcing it that way. So, guys, that's the competition for our birthday celebration. Happy birthday to us, and if it's your birthday this month, happy birthday to you as well. But, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed the home haul, and I'll see you guys real soon on the next video. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.